Hey there, old guy back again. Hope you're doing amazing. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I stained the uh, flame maple top of my Fretwire LP build. So let's check it out. So I already sanded this and I sanded it smooth uh, on the heel here and this. I sanded the body and the neck and the headstock with um, a 320 grit. Kind of uh, really went at it quite a good bit just to really smooth everything down. The top here I sanded very lightly with uh, 320 grit. I didn't even really put any pressure. I just kind of rubbed the sandpaper over it just to smooth it down. And I'm going to do a 420 grit. Um, I'm going to do a 420 grit uh, or a 400 grit, sorry, um, really light sanding again before I start painting or staining rather. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off the neck and tape off the whole body so that the stain doesn't really leak or stain the mahogany which I'm going to have to sand down also. Alright so the next step is I'm going to tape the top off and the fingerboard off and then I have three color stains uh, by, by crimson. The first is brown and that's going to kind of be the base so I'm going to stain the top brown first and then uh, put a really good coating of that and then that's going to sand off and that's going to be the basis of the hopefully if the flame shows through it'll be that now from what I read and what I saw on the internet you really have to be careful with how much liquid you put on the top veneer this is water based and if you absolutely soak that veneer too much and soak it through with a liquid it can actually uh, delaminate and lift off the body so you have to be kind of careful so this is the brown um, then what I'm gonna do is put a base of yellow and I'm gonna then the edges will be this orange and then I'm gonna try to blend it in um, so I'm gonna use a t-shirt uh, to use the stain and some gloves so I don't get stains all over my hands and I'm gonna put the stain in these cups so that doesn't get everywhere. So probably the next shot you're going to see of everything all taped up and we'll take it from there. So just to show you I taped up all the way around on uh, on both sides like that okay and I taped off the fingerboard. Now I'm not too worried about right around the edge per se just because it's plastic binding and if a little bit gets on the binding which it's gonna anyway I'm going to have to scrape that off with a razor or something like I've seen on the internet. So um, I also cut a piece of my uh, t that white t-shirt and I'm going to kind of just ball it up like that and use that uh, to apply the ink or dye rather. This isn't ink, it's, it's water-based dye, sorry. So there's water-based dye, there's alcohol-based dye, there are actually inks, and there's actually leather dye too, which people use. I chose this one because it seems to be the easiest. I'm also going to cover up the fingerboard with this towel over here, just so that in case things splash, it doesn't splash on the fingerboard. Just kind of a little extra um, attention to that. So give me a minute. All right, so got my gloves on. Got my... And uh, over here you can't quite see it as the is the ink there in that. So here we go. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. It's nice and even all the way across. Actually, let me just put a little bit more up top there. 
All right, so once this completely dries, I'm going to leave it overnight to dry. I don't know if it shows up on a couple of things, but you can see on the side here there's some areas that that didn't really stain like that and here and up here. You can almost see like a like a little line running down the middle as well. Um, and that's glue. Um, and what I'm hoping will happen is when I sand, because I'm going to basically sand all this off just so that it really accentuates the flames, which you can already see kind of over here. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but you can starting to see the, the flame pattern. So I'm going to sand all that off. And what I'm hoping is all of these areas where the stain didn't pick up um, will sand off because that's just glue. And it, if that sands off when I put the next color stain, it should stain. We'll kind of see how that goes. Um, and then if I have to fix it later, I'll either fix it with, um, with like a Sharpie or something or actually... So this is what it looks like after it dried and sanded. And I'll tell you what, that sanding was quite a job. It took me about an hour and a half. Um, and uh, you'll saw, you saw the pictures uh, of kind of the staging. So uh, I'm going to get ready and start with the yellow and burst dye and see how that goes. So now we're going to see what happens with the orange burst on the edges and I'm going to try to mold, um, uh, blend it in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit overnight and I'm going to uh, sand it one last time and then I'm going to uh, kind of highlight the edges again with the orange and see about um, blending it again with the yellow, kind of see how that does. Um, maybe sand the middle a little bit more just to get a little bit more yellow, but uh, so far I'm really digging how this looks. So I'm not really sure how well that shows up, but I did a couple of extra oranges around the edges and put some more yellow in the middle. And like I said, tomorrow I'm going to um, um, sand it down just a little bit and repeat the process to really bring all that together. This is what it looks like after I sanded it. Uh, I sanded it with 320 just to get the little bit of the top layer off. Now I'm going to finish it up and stain it uh, yellow again and maybe add a little bit more orange to the side. So uh, here we go. So I touched it up just a little bit and that's the final product uh, for now. The next step is going to be I'm going to take the tape off and I have to scrape the binding to get it white again and then I'm gonna coat the top with true oil and that will be the next video in the series so I'm pretty happy with how this looks it kinda I was hoping that the yellow would be a lot more yellow um, it, it kind of hints more towards orange um, I tried my best not to blend the colors but hopefully there's a nice darker orange ring and a lighter color in the middle. Starting to look like a guitar. The top's a little dull just because it doesn't have any um, top coating on it and what I'm going to be doing next is uh, even though I took all the tape off I'm going to clean up the binding a little bit. 
I'm going to tape it off again and then I'm going to put a true oil, true oil coating on the top which will get nice and hard uh, and really protect that flame top especially because of how soft the veneer is. Uh, so that'll be the next step for this guitar. Uh, if you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up like. If you like what the channel has to offer, uh, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.